Emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor, and it's time for us to talk to Mira again. Then we'll start going off to the um, Rift Station subsidiary, subsidiary. How may I assist you? Um. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me about Rift Station. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. Okay. Tell me about the staff. The staff is alive then? Yes, though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. Of course. Why is Rift Station locked down? Emergency procedures require each facility to isolate itself to prevent the spread of contagion. It okay. would also appear that there are several employees quarantined for medical treatment. Okay, can you tell me more about the hot labs at this point? Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. All That's right. all I need right now. No additional info there. Oh, I realized I completely forgot to get the uh, main reactor turned back on last time. So let's take care of that quickly. User alert. Main reactor shut down. There we go. You have completed the repairs to peak 15. Excellent. Let me quickly check again with Mira after <laughs> forgetting to do that. Whoops. I don't think she has any additional info. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Give me a status report on the hub. I am sorry. Nope, still. The network connections to the labs That's have been fine. damaged. Data is limited. That's all I need right now. The important thing is we have Rift, uh, we have Peak 15 fixed, so we can now actually go to Rift Station. And then we will see what's up there. Yeah, they managed to make this armor look much less absurd in this version. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the gladiator armor has always looked really stupid to me. They made it look decent. Pretty sure we're about to have another dude appear just over here. Yep. Alright. Let's throw. The way I see it, I would like to take advantage of Rex's biotics as much as I can. Because I would much rather be in a position where I don't have a bunch of Rachni coming straight at me. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Alright. I th think I should have Tally's decryption and stuff up high enough that I can get this taken care of. Huh. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? Among my people, a suicide's body would be left for scavengers. The Nathak will get to him eventually. Yeah, I guess that is accurate. Alright. Excellent. Alright, and hard electronics. Oh. Where, can you let me do this? There we go. All right. Manual bypass. Let's 
There we go. So those guys are taken care of. Alright. Looks like we... Oh, I knew there was another guy coming. It, it really took... No, it didn't take Rex out. I, that was weird. Alright. And talking to Mira there just would have given us the advice to use the plasma jets to clear out the rack and I. Come on. No, there's another. Where is it? Is it stuck? Are, are they stuck in the floor or something? I feel like that's the only explanation. Or they just wanted to ambush me. Rude. Rude Rachni workers. I am glad to have our health coming back relatively quickly, though. Let me see if I have some sort of shield or armor upgrade for Tally that would help with that. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, well gonna stick with that. She has the shield regenerator on, okay. That's fine. Eventually I'll get it so that she starts regenerating her own health. Departing Central Station. Destination Rift Station. As we should be able to do some buying of things here. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. All right, and I'm gonna try to not end up in a position of having to kill everybody this time, because I'm pretty sure I re that's what I had to do last time. I'm gonna try to avoid that, because I don't like having to kill everybody, <laughs> frankly. I would much rather let uh, these guards be, as it were. Let's see here. Oh, Captain Ventralis. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can they run a train? Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, All right. You're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. I'm here for Benezia. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Benezia? Yeah, she came through here. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out. Huh. He ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We'll clean them out. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth? It's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I need to talk to her. Venezia, is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, All right. First day, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. All right. What can you tell me about this facility? Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Do you know what they do here? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. All right. How secure are you? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. This place is vulnerable. I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys could take this place. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. Computers can be hacked. Automated defenses can be overridden. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One okay. guy can lock down the whole facility. 
The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. Okay. Good to get that info. What can you tell me about the hot labs? I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Okay. The bugs came from it? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Okay. Do you know what it's like? Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. They've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? You already said that. Can you tell me more about the aliens? What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Okay. What can you tell me about Benezia? You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Okay. And finally, your staff. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. All right. Well, I'll stop distracting you then. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. All right. Okay. Let's get a throw. Go. Awesome. Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. Hmm. Yeah, no problem. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. All right. A little bit of paragon there. That's fine. I'm not too bothered by that. We can do a little bit of stuff here, though. Believe that that is technically Captain Ventralis's space. One thing I definitely want to do, though, is talk to Potosi. See if I can buy anything from him. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. Um, Matriarch Benezia? I was sent here to find an Asari Matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. You're running a store? This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have All a All right. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Understandably. All right. So... We're starting to get into things that are a little outside my price range for real. Can't do heavy armor yet, unfortunately. I can get that license. I'm definitely down with that. Um, the chameleon tool. I'm trying to think. Who would need that? Tally. Get her a tech cooldown bonus. I prefer... Uh, I kind of prefer the shield and med recharge bonus for her, though. Let me see what I can what I can sell, though, because I definitely have some extras of things. A hammer. Sniper rifle. 
definitely not quite as good as my current one. For now though, just in case, I'm just going to sell doubles of things. Definitely going to keep that armor just in case it'll be good for Garrus. Lots of face of crowns. Toxic seals could actually be good right now. So I'm going to keep that. And then I think everything that's two and lower I'm just going to sell. At this point, it's like I'm at a point where I think that I can reliably be trying to use higher level stuff. The shotgun, let's see how that would compare for Rex and Tally. I think that we should be able to get that for one of them. That looks good. Alestia Ialis. Who are you? What? Um. Do you know about Matriarch Benezia? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Do you know President Huerta of Earth? I did not think so. Classy, but she's here. Benezia passed through here. You didn't see her? I saw her. You asked if I knew her. I do not. Okay. Can I ask you about how calm you are? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Okay, fine. Tell me more about your work. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you study? What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Okay. I'm not gonna be rude. Um, can I ask you personal questions? Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? I'm just trying to be polite. No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Fine. Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. I forgot how unpleasant she was. <laughs> um, let me talk to Dr. Palin. He was glitching a little bit strangely. Is that glitching or is he purposefully moving? Huh, that was weird. What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? Can you tell me more about the situation here? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Um... Tell me about yourself. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. What's the accident? There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Okay. Can you tell me about Benezia? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Alright. Do you know anything about the hot labs? What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Any idea where he is? Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. Okay. Can you tell me more about this lab? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a number. Okay. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You don't like it here? You're not happy on Peak 15? 
The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. Okay. To forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. I can do that. Let's do a little bit of exploring before we go and talk to Dr. Cohen first. Because I like to find things. Alrighty. Marvelous. Yeah, we're starting to solidly get into fours most of the time at this point, so that's good to do. that's really good to see. There's our restricted area over there. Doctor Cohen here. What, what, what do you want? What's wrong with them? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. That's your call. Suit yourself. I'm just trying to avoid an incident. Tell me about your job. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. Huh. We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Okay. Tell me about your team. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. That's good to know. Tell me more about these people, though. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. All right. But you want to. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Yeah, I fixed her. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three All were right. exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. Tell me everything. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was okay. no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Naturally. The forest bee is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Damn Solarians just love to play with bugs. <clears throat> Militaries, governments... They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. And you don't have a cure? You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is it dangerous? Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. The way I see it, I'm going to try to take advantage of his cooperation to get us through this so we will get through everything in regard to this and we'll talk to Han Olar 
as well. First we have to talk to Ventralis though. And then hopefully we'll be able to get through this planet in the next episode. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine land. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. I'll have to report this. I'm curious. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. All right, that's what it takes. I trust the doctor. That's the only way you'll let us in? I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. All right. Let's do it then. And this will take us to where Han Olar is as well. So nice and convenient there. That's not what I wanted. There we go. As much as I love my Fem Shep, it is nice to be playing with a shepherd that looks like the shepherd <laughs> that I'm used to playing. You came to find out about them, didn't you? Are you always this vague? Are you trying to be cryptic, or are you just nuts? I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. Tell me about the aliens. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Don't ah. screw with me, they can't be Rachni. They're extinct. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. Mm. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, huh. be the quiet kind. Huh. Nice. Crazy. I'm sane. God, am I sane. Tell me about them. I need to know everything about the Ragnarok. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Okay. Tell me about your survival. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Answer the question. Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch uh. when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. You did what you had to do. There's no other way to, <laughs> to look at it, really. If you hadn't, you'd be dead, too. Of course. That is perfectly true. Do you know anything about Benezia? Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. Okay. That looks like it. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. All right. So, here is our lab that we have to go into. You're not part of the crew. I'm here to make the cure. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to collect stuff first this time. Nothing there. Uh, I'll wait on the medical kit just because I don't want to waste trying to get Medigel. In case I don't need it. 
There we go. And here... Oh, got another locked crate. Always good. And I screwed up. Alright. I can't give him heavy armor yet. How close am I to being able to give him heavy armor? Well, I'm gonna make it so I can give him heavy armor. <laughs> Quite simply. Um, that looks good to me. For you, you know what? I'm gonna get your quarrying machinist up at this point too. And get that up. Then get our health up with fitness because I like having my health up as much as I can. Sweet. Let's make our cure now. So this is the same. There we go. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Naturally. We'll see about that, bitch. Where's the guard? What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. Hmm. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Alright. I hate that it makes me turn around here. So stupid. Uh, let's, uh... Well, let's uh, throw her. Get myself into here. There we go. Come on. Then we have another commando. Let's overload her. There we go. Excellent. I approve. Oh, I could have read the research notes first. We've isolated the four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the result. So that's all we needed to do, basically. And, um, well, don't need more at Medigel, but I didn't have to use more Medigel. So that's all good. Let's get ourselves going again. I'm gonna put my gun away. They came out of there. How do I get in there? That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Alright. Sounds good. And that's basically just asking the exact same question if I remember correctly, but let's see. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead okay, would so have yeah, access. literally the exact same like question. Dr. Cohen. <laughs> He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. All right, let's go back and talk to Cohen. Get this taken care of. And then... I think what I'll do then is we will go take care of Benezia at the start of next episode, and then we will finish off next episode with finishing off this mission. So, we're just powering our way right on through. Very effectively, actually. So, I am quite pleased. Huh. What was that? Waypoint it was giving me. Is that the cure? You did it? Uh, you set me up. I was ambushed in the lab you sent me to. If you set me up... You were attacked? 
I, I... I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. Nice. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. Okay. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about maintenance? What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God. What a cliche. <laughs> you saved their lives. Do you know that? I need more. And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some medigel. Of course. Here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to yep. administer this. Thanks again. All right. And of course, this is one of those areas where I was alluding to in an earlier episode that it seems like the game is trying to say that it's very much a simple good versus evil split on Paragon and Renegade. So we did a good deed by helping save those, uh, those scientists, but we did it with nefarious intent effectively. But because we did a good deed, we still got Paragon points. And I, like I said, I think that it's more about the lawful versus chaotic split, but even that is imperfect. But I am just going to get us into the maintenance area just so that we are good to go there. I'm not going to bother talking to them because they obviously aren't going to tell me anything. But here we are. I believe we are going to see somebody. And by somebody, I mean a Rachni. There we are. Let's, uh, let's warp you. Really, Rex? Come on. You can't go right in front of me like that, dude. But that is going to get us back here to where we can get to the secret lab. I'll finish off the episode by unlocking this. Get us a few more things. And that is where we are going to end this episode, everybody. I'm going to get Rex back over here because I need to be able to see Rex's beautiful face. There we are. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then.